Hey guys, it is another sketchbook tour, finally. I know it's a bit delayed. Um, so yeah, I'll get right into it. These guys, you might notice they're similar to some custom sticker designs I've showed you before. It's because I decided to redo them. I wasn't happy with the ones I did before, so yeah, I started over and I'm much happier with them and the customer slash my friend is also happy with them. Got random profile that I wasn't happy with, so I destroyed and is now hideous. And this guy, which I was happy with because he's a beautiful boy. Um, this was me just messing around. I think I'm gonna redo him as like a full full character design and everything just because I like him and I still want to expand on what I was doing. And as for the rest on this page, I super suck at drawing manga anime style, like which is weird because I think mine's sort of I think mine's similar to that style, but for some reason when it comes to actually drawing it like spot on, I super suck. Um, so what I've been trying to do is draw from the actual manga, and not just My Hero, but that's just what's on this page. Um, and it's all super wonky because I super suck at it, and I don't know why, and <laughs> it's, it's difficult. <laughs> but, so I just drew, I think that was my favorite, I love how he looks in that. Um, and this one's Kristen's favorite because he looks ridiculous. And that's what he looks like in the manga. It was a really hilarious image. Um, my Trash Boy All Might is my favorite. Dumpster All Might, not like Buff All Might. Dumpster All Might, which is this one, is my favorite. I love him. Anyways. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this one, I have a lot going on also. These were also manga draws. And I was not happy with them um, from Blue Exorcist. So, Blue Exorcist. These two are the last of the redraws from manga. And, okay, so I'd never read Sandland, which is the same creator as Dragon Ball Z. I mean, Dragon Ball, sorry. It was the same artist as Dragon Ball. Um, and I always loved Dragon Ball once, I mean, once I got into manga and anime, which wasn't until high school. I'm not a fan of Dragon Ball Z or anything. Um, I think it's just super repetitive, and I don't really care about it. But I owned and loved the manga Dragon Ball, the original. Um, and especially, especially because I loved the art, and I don't know why, because it's so far from the normal stuff I like. But anyway, so I tried reading Sandland this, like, month, this past month. I haven't finished it, I just started it. And um, I love Beelzebub, which is this guy, the main character. And I love the art just as much as Dragon Ball, and... Yeah, I'm super into it. So I drew some, drew some bells. Um, this was me, I drew him playing video games. This is not from the manga. This is just me doodling him. So down here I've got a butt, which is the best thing in this video, probably. I did a little succulent. I was doing, what's it called? Art Fight this year for my first time. I'd never heard of it. And if you don't know what it is, go ahead and Google it. But this is an attack I was doing for someone of their character. And this is just the rough sketch. I did it digitally, but... And then my favorite anime character in the world, Karama. I don't normally draw fan art, which is weird sounding based on this video, but I don't normally draw fan art. This isn't from a manga or anything. It was just me doodling him. Um, but... Karama was like my first anime love, and Yu Yu Hakusho in general was like my first anime love. I didn't discover anime until high school, uh, freshman year of high school, and Yu Yu Hakusho was one of the first ones I got into, and I was completely obsessed with Karama. Yusuke was also great, but I was very obsessed with Karama. So I thought I would worship him a little in an image, and... um. Yeah, that's it. I still love him, so <laughs> he's still my husband. And then, yeah, me filling in awkward space on the page. My next pages are very, like, scarce. Like, they have they have a lot of negative space, which I know you can see I usually avoid. Um, I don't know. My depression hasn't been great this last month, and it's made me really apathetic towards my hobbies, which means 
drawing has been kind of a struggle for me, so I haven't been as motivated to like fill in all the space and everything on my pages. But I'm getting there, I guess. I'm getting trying to get back on my feet. Uh, this is my super dumpster baby. His name is actually Dumpster. Well, his nickname is Dumpster. Um, he's an OC of mine for a comic I want to do. Um, Dumpster isn't his like birth name, but he's a demon, so humans can't pronounce his birth name. So um, they just call him Dumpster because he's an always tired, chain smoking wannabe alcoholic but can't process alcohol just like grumpy demon case worker um so he's called dumpster but i love him so much uh these are some doodles for um or these are thumbnails for pictures i wanted to do and this one i started doing which you're gonna see in a minute uh halloween sticker i started there's also one down here or sticker pack i should say um i want to do some pastel halloween stickers this is just a rough doodle of a tattoo I want to get eventually of my spirit animal, which is an alligator. And this is me drawing a girl with an alligator because I was having a really rough day. I was having really bad anxiety that day specifically. It's not my depression. I was just really anxious that day and I wanted to calm myself down. So I thought I would doodle my spirit animal, animal a bit and do that as therapy. So, yeah. This is a character I might draw. I have a species group on Facebook for original species I create, and I adopt out characters that I design of the species, and I was doodling this one, so I might make them real into a full piece, I mean, and sell that character. We'll see. I got Subnautica, started playing that, so I doodled a peeper. And I was, this is frustrating, I was doing, I was finally doing a succulent pack of stickers because a friend asked me to, like, months ago. And I finally was like, okay, I'll do them. And I was doing them with cute little faces and, like, all that stuff. And I fully finished my aloe vera one, even. Um, and then, like, I was scrolling Instagram, like, two days ago, and I saw someone who's a much better artist than me did succulent stickers with little faces and shit, and I was just like, oh my god, I was like, I can't do it now! I was like, is this gonna look like I'm ripping off this artist? And, uh, yeah, so I have to scrap the idea and redo a totally different themed succulent pack of stickers. Um, so, that's a thing. But, these guys are still cute. These are two that I have. I don't know how to say the names. Um, but I have two of these guys, and I've got an aloe vera and two other succulents also. And then this is the last page in my sketchbook I have to show you, and I know it's also very, like, bare. Um, well, I guess I can announce it now. I'm probably opening a new Etsy, depending on how things go, and it's gonna be a little weird. It's specifically vintage fashion-inspired witch hats? and hair accessories. Um, we'll see. I obviously have to like stock up on materials and like make enough stock to like open the shop and everything. Um, and I'm hoping I'll make it happen, but you know, it's a big investment and venture. But these were just some designs of the witch hats and hair accessories I was gonna be doing. So I had doodle back here that didn't go, I mean, went down to like here but I wanted to make room for this these are digital sketches I did and I didn't want you guys to be stuck only seeing my traditional stuff so I printed out like this was the canvas that I doodled on this was all of it and I just printed it out and stuck it in here especially because I love my digital doodling and I think it often is more I don't know interesting in my opinion than my traditional stuff or at least I like how it turns out better than my traditional stuff, so I like this guy, and I like how this face and this mouth and everything turned out. Anyways, lesbians. And this was a dragon character I created. My friend has a female dragon character, and I really liked her, and she was saying how she was a lesbian without a girlfriend. The character, not not my friend. And I told her I would draw her a girlfriend, so I drew this small, soft little bean. And I liked her face better in the sketch, but this is a very small sticker of the final piece. I did a full-size drawing, but I printed a little sticker of it to put in here.
And I think that's the last of my sketchbook. I have a couple digital things I'm working on to show you. Yeah, it is. So, last but not least, whew, all my notifications. There we go. Uh, this was one of the thumbnails that I showed that was really small. Uh, this was, well, I started making it happen. Sorry, I just woke up. I can't talk. <laughs> I started drawing it officially. Um, but I don't know if I'll finish because that happens. I lose interest. And then I'm working on this. This is an OC I created named Asus. And I found, who cat hair? Whoops. I found this sort of tutorial on like different head poses on Instagram and so I redrew them so and then like kept I saved that copy so that I could use it in the future with different characters but I started using it for this guy because I really suck at drawing a character and then like drawing the face in different directions and making it look like it's the same person like I really suck at it so I was like no I need to work on that so I mean, so far I think I'm, like, succeeding-ish. I think his eyebrows look a little weird in certain places. And it was difficult getting... It was difficult making it look like it was the same, like, bone structure. Like, same skull and nose and everything at different angles, which is the whole point, I guess. Um, but, yeah, I'm getting there, slowly. I just open it and work on it every once in a while. I haven't been just, like, focusing on it, so... But I'm happy with him so far. And that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for everyone for being patient. I know it took a while to get this out. My schedule is currently reversed sleeping wise, so I'm sleeping during the day and awake at night, which is why I just woke up at like 4 something p.m. Um, but I record my videos with the sunlight. I don't have any lights or anything, so I haven't been able to record it because I've been asleep during like the best sunlight periods. Um, but yeah, thanks for being patient, and hopefully I will not take as long with my next video.